know how to start this video. I guess she'll start talking. So the day this video is going live will be Tuesday, November 3rd, 2020, which is election day in the United States. I know I really don't talk politics on this channel. I try and keep things really light, but honestly, this election is heavy. The political climate in the United States weighs really heavily on my mind and it felt inauthentic to talk about anything else than the election on election day. And there's a lot of facets and sides to the political unrest in America right now, but if you watch this channel, you know that I am deeply devoted to the health of the planet. I talk a lot about sustainability and how to tread lightly on this one earth that we're given. I think there's been a lot of noise throughout this election and it's really hard to cut through the clutter. That was a minimalist joke. To really get to the heart of the issues. But here's the thing, to me, no other issue really matters if the health of the planet is not taken care of. If we have no healthy place to live, what's the point? There was a statistic released fairly recently that said by the year 2100, it's projected that the earth will be around four degrees Celsius warmer, which means that the sixth mass extinction on planet earth will be underway. We're talking 80 years away. So children, babies who are being born now, that's their lifetime. This impacts actual living human beings on this planet right now. We are doing potentially irreparable damage to our environment and to the planet. And it's our job as part of the American democracy to vote into power people who can secure a future for us. And that doesn't just mean an economic future for us. It also means healthy water to drink and air to breathe and a place to live. I don't mean like four walls and a roof. I mean like an actual habitable planet. And it's not just about who's elected in the next four years. What is terrifying about our current situation is the past four years were spent laying the foundation for environmental ruin. One of the first things that happened under the current administration was reversing protection on 85% of the Air's Ears National Monument and 50% of Grand Staircase Escalante. And that was just the beginning. Just last week, 9.3 million acres of Alaska's Tongass National Forest was opened for logging. The Tongass National Forest is one of the biggest intact temperate rainforests that we have left. And it's America's largest carbon sink. This is detrimental to the environment. And these are just a couple examples. Over the course of the last four years, federal protections have been stripped from 29.6 million acres of formerly protected public lands. If you know me, if you watch my videos, you know I make my home on the boundary of a national park. I live in Southern California. Right now I'm surrounded by wildfires. This obviously hits very close to home for me, but it's not just about me. The most unselfish thing we can do is take care of the planet now so that future generations have a healthy place to live. There's a great quote by Sir David Attenborough that says, cherish the natural world because you are part of it and because you depend on it. And it's true, we depend on nature, but nature is depending on us not to wreck everything. So look, I'm not here to tell you how to vote, but I hope you do vote. If you live in the United States, if you're an eligible American and you're able to cast a vote, I hope you do. And I hope it comes from a place of love and empathy and a strong, well-researched opinion that you've created. One of the best things we can do in this current climate is to research and to create our own opinions and to stand firmly into what we believe. So if you haven't voted yet, I hope you turn off this video and if nothing else today, you go vote. That's all for today's video. Next week, we will return back to normal content. I have a great minimalist video planned for you all. Let's save the planet. Bye everyone.